Hi guys, today is going to be a little bit more of a informal video, if you will oblige me. Kenneth is here by the way. <laughs> Amberlynn has finally talked about the secret that she had been keeping from everyone while she was you know, trying to get weight loss surgery. She premiered a video tonight where she shares what she had been keeping from us. I found the clip of what she's talking about. I'm gonna share that with y'all. You're gonna see throughout this video uh, that what she's saying, I mean, I found the clip, so we, we can say it's true in theory, but her timeline is so off kilter. I'm going to literally have to make like an infographic for you guys so that you can see what I'm seeing. Um, again, is this important? Hell no. Who cares? But I did want to get a video out. So this seemed interesting enough and uh, we're going to talk about it. Okay. So right out of the gate, uh, there is a nifty little tool online where you can type in somebody's YouTube channel and then search like keywords that show up in the video's transcript or in the automatic subtitles. And I was able to like in five seconds pull up every video where she says the word surgeon or surgery. And I watched all of them. Let's continue with her video. People be doxing like what doctors I have. <laughs> that actually goes into the next question. Perfect segue, Amberlynn. What really happened during the weight loss surgery era? Okay. I specifically said repeatedly during that whole era, I will explain later. You guys will see why I'm upset later. I can't tell you now, but I'll tell you later. Later is here and I'm just going to do it short and quick and to the point. I could easily do a whole story time, but I'm just not going to even do that because I'm, I'm not going to put my energy into this that hardcore because I just don't want to. I did back then. My energy was very much into this back then. I was very upset. I would assume you don't want to do a story time because you won't be able to keep all your facts straight considering even in this like really abbreviated version of the story, she doesn't keep her story straight. Again, just wanna reiterate what she's saying, what she's about to say happened, did happen, and I will show you that it happened, but this is just another example of how she's a known liar, and when she messes up details with timelines and stuff, it just, it, it does not help her credibility. So if you guys remember, I came on my YouTube and I said, oh, I can't get weight loss surgery until I don't binge for a whole year. It came out of nowhere. It was confusing. It was weird. It made no sense. But I held on to that and I said, okay, let's do it. Then I had an appointment with my dietitian and she said, you're gonna come meet the surgeon because we need to talk to you about something. And this was before I was even supposed to meet the surgeon. So long story short, hundreds and hundreds of people were emailing my surgeon, finding his Instagram and messaging him. They were contacting my surgeon's office through the phone, through messages. Any way that people could contact my surgeon, they were finding it and they were doing it. So how did people find out who my surgeon was? A reaction channel. The reaction channel is the Narclert. I'm not super familiar with her, uh, but I did see in the live chat that Amberlynn said the reaction channel's name in the chat. How did that reaction channel find out who my surgeon was? Because I read maybe two sentences of an email that was sent to me by my surgeon's office. This reactor wanted to know so badly who my surgeon was that they faked wanting to get weight loss surgery just so they could get that email back to them to confirm who my weight loss surgeon was. And once they confirmed who my weight loss surgeon was, what did they do? They doxed him. So this is where I'm going to insert the clip of the stream in which the narc alert says her surgeon's name out loud. Because she still sees good food as a reward and, and healthy food as a punishment. Right. 
she sees eating in moderation as a punishment instead right. of a way to be healthy and be treat yourself better. She doesn't look at it that way. It's a punishment for her. Yeah. KK says there's 21 weight loss centers in Lexington. Okay, so I've got some work to do then. Is that what you're saying? To find the seminar? Yeah, we'll find it. I'm sure we'll have. Some Jan says, Merck, I sent you one with a seminar. Thanks, Jan. I'll check my. She opens it because I bet. Oh, Georgetown Bariatrics. I see. She says. Okay, Jan on the lamb. What a rock star you are. Thanks, Jan. She's on the lamb and she still finds She's the on stuff. The lamb. Insurance. I got to fill in insurance. Well, just why? Yeah, but I don't even. What should I put there? Oh, for God. insurance. Should I put self-pay? That's what she'd put. Oh, yeah, put self-pay. <laughs> okay, you guys, I just registered. No. <laughs> I'm not seeing it yet, so I guess we'll have to maybe do it on Discord. Well, I'll let you know as soon as I get the link to the seminar. <laughs> I need bariatric surgery, you guys. Oh, Danny asked, wait, is this the doctor from Thousand Pound Best Friends? I didn't watch that. That's interesting. Was it, were they in Kentucky? No, I didn't watch that either. I just saw. Did she, did she say that the doctor was famous? I, I feel like she did. did. Yeah. Dr. Proctor? Was that? No, that was from Thousand Pound Sisters, right? Was it the oh, same doctor? Dr. Proctor. He is so handsome. Oh, my God. Hubba hubba. About us. Meet our team. Do you guys know the... I don't think it was Proctor. I think he was Thousand Pound Sisters. Right. Oh, it is this guy. Looks familiar. This is the guy. Eric Smith. It's the guy. Wait, what's oh, he looking? Can, sorry. Can you I forgot because I had to fill that thing out. So I, <laughs> I didn't. I decided I'm not so to dox excited. myself tonight. It's Dr. Daddy. Oh. <gasps> Oh my God! That's stop it, Daddy. That's gonna be her surgeon. <gasps> well, that's one stop of the surgeons it. there. Stop it! No, she said that he was famous. Oh she my did God. say that, didn't she? I think in the moment they weren't really thinking beyond like who could it be because Amberlynn's like very confusing. You can't really trust the things that she says, and I think they were just curious. And the narc alert read it out loud. Should she have done that? No. Here's the thing. And I don't want to like 100% excuse it because if this happened to me, I'm sure I would be upset as well. Amberlynn had said something about like that her surgeon was not a private citizen. We'll put it that way. I guess what I'm curious about is how it took so long for the weight loss center to tell her that like they have been getting all these phone calls and messages because his name was first said on that live stream on December 6th. And the first time that she says like there's something going on that she doesn't want to talk about is on March 22nd. And this video has like a couple thousand views. I don't know if there was stuff going on in the background that I wasn't aware of, but I'm very chronically online. So I feel like I would have seen it. They said, this is Amber Lynn's surgeon. This is who he is. Blah, 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 blah. Well, my surgeon was Dr. Smith, um, the same surgeon who did Tammy Slayton surgery. I have met him. He is wonderful. He was understanding. So when I met him and we had that meeting, I explained to him everything. He explained to me the type of messages and things that he was receiving. It was people saying how I binged and I lie, I lie, I lie. So not only was I fighting for myself to get weight loss surgery, but I was fighting against hundreds of people because of a careless reaction channel. I was pissed. I was hurt because it's like, react to me all day. Go for it. I really don't care at this point, but stop getting in the fucking way of my life. Like you got in the way of my life. So once the surgeon heard about all this and heard my side of the story, that is when things were changed. And he was like, you know what? A year is way too long. Wait, I'm going to interrupt that part because the surgeon changed their mind about the timeline of things on March 26th. And she said the secret has something to do with it. 
I had my dietitian appointment. Um, it was just a few days ago. I have one once a month for now. Um, and it's just to see how I'm doing, talk to me about my progress, um, what more needs to be done, etc., etc. And this appointment, I'm going to be honest, guys. I know you guys hate when I say this, but there is some things that are currently happening, like within everything that I just, I don't feel comfortable talking about right now. So there is pieces of my journey and my story missing that you guys are not hearing about but i will tell you i promise i'm just not telling you yet and the reason why i feel like i need to say that is because i don't want to feel like i'm lying to you guys because i wanted to be so transparent in my whole journey with this but i just feel like there are certain parts that i want to keep private now because it's going to help me and that is my goal here is to help me and I want to improve, I want to better myself, whether that be physically or mentally, and I shouldn't have to explain myself, but I just wanted to let you guys know that there is parts of the story missing, and I'm trying my hardest to be as transparent as I can and to let you guys know as much as I can, okay? So my dietitian said that everything I'm doing is exactly right so far, and that I'm doing really good, and I'm making progress where I can. That quote she said was, what we expect from you and from all patients is imperfection and that just made me feel so validated because you know i was super honest with her because i've had major setbacks recently i have had slip ups and there was a moment where i felt like you know maybe i wasn't going to get weight loss surgery and obviously that moment passed really quickly and it's not something i vocalized but um like I said, there's missing parts of the story that I will fill in for you guys in the future. I'm just not ready right now. So the new goal is they want me to show progress three to four months from now, just for three to four months. They just want to see progress. It was kind of a long appointment. Um, overall, it was actually really good. And like I have been saying, when it comes to the whole weight loss surgery thing, there is something um that has happened um and i am warming up to the idea of speaking more about it but the only reason why <laughs> i feel like i have to constantly say this that i am saying that something is happening and i am not telling you guys is because when i finally do tell you guys i don't want people to be like wow you lied and you didn't tell us i'm letting you know right now there's something that i'm not saying um, for that reason, because I am trying to be transparent. But like I've said, for my well being, I'm not ready to share. So the whole 12 months uh, to wait for me to get surgery, he said that was crazy. Um, he said it was actually just like a recommendation. And I will explain more of why that was a recommendation. That is part of what I'm not telling you guys so far. <laughs> Uh, I know it's confusing. Trust me, when I explain to you guys and I come back to these like storylines and situations, because um, I'm sure you, it's leaving you guys confused because I know as a viewer, I'd be like, what is happening? You guys would probably look at it and be like, oh, okay, I get it now, I understand. But uh, the surgeon said like that 12 months thing was crazy. Again, like the wording, like it's like, okay, something clearly was going on. So this could be it all these emails and text messages or whatever happening that could be the thing that's going on but the way she words it is as if it's like something to do with her health and not like a bunch of hater nation like coming after her where like someone who was well known gets doxxed and now he's receiving all of these messages and calls and stuff like not only like was that not fair to me but it wasn't fair to them she's right it's not fair to them not cool People shouldn't do that. As professionals, like they had to deal with all of these messages. That's not fair to them. And then this is where I get really confused because she says something about Zachary Michael. As I speak on this, I also want to thank Zachary Michael because he knew about all of this. I actually told him in private. Um, I didn't give him like the rundown i didn't give him every tiny detail but he knew who my surgeon was i went back to try to find the dms but i don't know a lot of dms were deleted i don't know if it was because of him or because i had him blocked at one point it's a mess i do be blocking i'm not gonna lie but just out of respect i'm not gonna share our dms because i feel like that's low life 
Um, I know reaction channels love to share DMs. It's like their go-to. It's like, oh, Amberlynn messaged me. Let me show you. It's like, for real now? Come on. If Amberlynn messaged me, I would definitely share it. Just saying. But yeah, Zachary Michael knew and he didn't say a word. And in his reactions, he acted like he had no idea. Uh, and this is where I need to defend Zach a little bit because she's like oh in his reactions he act like he didn't know before i started this channel zachary michael was the one channel that i watched so i don't know him and i don't want to sound very parasocial here but i think that zachary michael has really great character i think that he is honest i think he's a good person i don't think he has an ego um yada 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 Lots of good things, right? The entire time that she kept dangling this carrot in front of the audience about the secret, this thing that she's been keeping from everyone. Uh, he, yeah, he was saying like, you know, girl, why are you going to just, why are you going to bring it up if you're not going to tell us what it is? And if she's trying to claim that he knew the entire time and that all those reactions are fake, I don't believe her. I don't believe that she told him or I don't, think that she communicated properly because if you go back and look, Zachary and Michael's reactions are completely genuine. If we're playing who wins here, I believe Zach over Amberlynn any day. Just saying. Anyway, at the end of the video, she's talking about how uh, that's not all of this is not the reason why she didn't get weight loss surgery. She shares that she just wasn't ready. Basically, when she and Feline broke up, she didn't have like the support. She just basically it wasn't the move and that is consistent with what she said at the time and yeah so hopefully this was worth something uh it's basically just a glorified compilation video sorry about it but the next video will be the stupid fucking video that i've been working on okay i'm so tired of this video uh it's turning into like a video essay Ugh, i'm not cut out for that this will probably be the Unless it gets like crazy views, I'm not making another video essay. Absolutely not. And by the way, um, in the spirit of answering questions that nobody asked, much like um, all of the rest of Amberlynn's video, uh, nobody asked this, but I just looked at my face right here and I can see my arm like this. And what you're seeing is I have like a desk in the corner and it makes like a V shape in front of me. So I'm just resting my arm on this desk and this arm is resting on this desk. Okay, nobody asked that, but there you go. But they did ask this, allegedly. So the last question is, what's your ideal sexual fantasy? Tie me up, uh, put my panties in my mouth. <laughs> oh boy, come do whatever you want to me because I'm tied up. So there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs>